is Ajal Kumar Sen and in this video thought 12 I am going to share with you how to find out shear stress in case of fluid mechanics and of course there is a question asked in gate related to this topic that's why I am sharing with you okay so as you know these days I am creating videos for gate preparation and uh, of course to solve numerical problems so definitely in this video tutorial i'm going to share with you what is basically shear stress and related things what you need to know to solve the numerical problems related to this topic so basically as you know tau is mu du by dy almost those have studied uh, fluid mechanics little bit even they know about this equation but yes only knowing this equation cannot help you to solve the numerical problem so what you need to know you need to know about it about this mu this is not friction this is uh, you know that in case of uh, solid we have friction right but in case of fluid we have coefficient of viscosity or it is known as coefficient of viscosity or you can say that it is known as dynamic dynamic viscosity so it is having relation with two things one is kinematic viscosity kinematic viscosity viscosity that is denoted by nu so how is it related to is because you know kinematic kinematic viscosity is equal to dynamic viscosity by density so you know we if uh, that numerical problem they ask in gate previous year they have relate this thing with this and they again relate with density that is with a specific specific weight basically specific weight or uh, no specific not exactly i think they have said a specific uh, weight or weight density these are uh, these are the same thing right so a specific weight equal to weight by volume okay so it is also known as rho g but they have related things with another thing that is specific gravity specific gravity they can relate with it but uh, from here density and g right specific gravity is equal to density of fluid by density of standard fluid so they have relate uh, with this density to this one to uh, yeah now you can see <laughs> to get confused i mean to uh, not confuse exactly i must i must not say that to confuse you to uh, make the problem little bit more difficulty to increase the difficulty level so if you are preparing for gate then probably you are solving previous year gate uh, papers right so you can see these uh, these examination papers or questions are really different from your university examination because in gate they try to relate things with each other and uh, <clears throat> that is the main uh, main problem or may you can say main strength of gate that's why gate is not like that examination that you can get 100 out of 100 that's not possible in case of gate right so here here these formulas we are going to use in that numerical problems which has been asked in gate previous year uh, i hope you are getting my point so let's go for that uh, that numerical problem which has been asked okay so right now yeah right now you can see the numerical problem and i hope you can read it right because this it's a very good camera uh yeah you can read it right so what it said in this uh, uh, numerical problem an incompressible fluid they are using okay so let's write first what they have given in the question so what they have given incompressible fluid Kinematic viscosity is 7.4 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter square per second and specific gravity uh, it's a specific gravity is equal to 0 0.88 is held between two parallel plates if top plate is moved with velocity okay v is equal to 0 0.5 meter per second while the bottom are bottom one is held stationary okay fluid attains a linear velocity profile gap or oh, that means y is equal to 0 0.5 mm now between the between this place shear stress in pascals on surface of the top plate so i have to find out tau is equal to what this is the question exactly well i have already shared with you what formulas you need to implement to get the answer 
I will share, I will tell you do one thing. Well, after getting all these values, I mean getting all these values given and what to find out is not that that's that much difficult. You can easily get out. I mean once you will have practice, you can easily find out what they have given in the question. Now, after this step, this is the first step, pretty step. If you are beginner solve for solving numerical problem, then that this will be the first step, okay? After solving this, you need to see what you need to find out. And based on that, I mean, what are formulas are uh, what are formulas we have to find out that what they have told us to calculate from this num I mean, this numerical problem, right? So we, as I have shared with you, I I have made this question quite deep, uh, quite uh, uh, simple for you because I have shared with you what to find out. Okay, and I have already shared with you. Uh, formulas what you require to solve this numerical problem so i will tell you if you have, you have been watching my videos i have created a lot of videos for your help then do one thing whenever i'm sharing with you formula just write it down on your notebook this would be quite difficult just pause the video and do it and then what happens write the question also then keep doing things with me only watching videos can help you to understand it but if you wanted to grab the real concept of them I mean, if you wanted to have um, a good approach in this topic then you have to solve it yourself only then only you will have good approach otherwise you will come to know you will have knowledge but you will not have depth knowledge so you require to solve numerical problems in the examination you required what you required that is important that is what you required approach to solve the numerical problem right so what we have given in this question that is tau is equal to mu du by dy tau is equal to mu dy by dy so we have to find out what tau we have given now is there anywhere you can get mu no okay leave it then du we have given that is 0 0.5 and why we have given 0 0.5 again we have to do one thing that is we have to notice on unit mm so we have to convert it into meter that's why i have to multiple with 10 to the power minus 3 all right so remember my dear once again i am saying concentrate on unit while solving numerical problem okay so uh, now what what is the challenge here that is find out this mu this is known as dynamic viscosity i have already shared with you right or you can say that coefficient of viscosity so for finding out dynamic viscosity we are having a formula that is nu is equal to mu by rho so we can say that dynamic viscosity is equal to kinematic viscosity into density so we have given kinematic viscosity that is 7.4 10 to the power minus 7 but density we don't have given so you know we have to find out you have to use a relation from here so we know that specific gravity is equal to density of fluid by density of standard fluid therefore we can write this equation as density of fluid is equal to specific gravity density of standard fluid what do you mean by density of standard fluid i'm talking about water so specific gravity is 0.88 density of standard fluid is 1000 that means 880 okay are you getting my point i you are getting my point so let's get uh, LAT we got it density of fluid okay so density of fluid is unit kg per meter cube okay now we got density we got uh, we have to multiple this density with here so what will get values here I have to use calculator now 7 multiple 4 10 to the power minus 7 minus 7 multiple 880 so what we got basically 0 0.0006512 and its unit is newton second per meter square and you know newton yeah newton per meter square is also known as pascal or pa somewhere it is written pa if you have solved numerical problem in thermodynamics then probably you have seen such type of uh, unit couple of times even if we get uh, we get pascal in uh, not thermodynamics we have somewhere in thermodynamics but if you have uh, solved strength of material machine design then definitely you have seen uh, pascal most of the time okay so we have to put this value here and after putting we have to do calculation then we'll get answer this is really simple right now again we need to use calculator multiple 0.5 the division 0.5 multiple 10 to the power minus 3 so as you can see what i have what i am doing here i have already written is equal to 
it's what is the value exactly we are getting 0.6512 and tau it's newton per meter square because all all of the unit we have taken in this numerical problem si only that means it is in pascal now check out the option we have given that is pascal okay we have already considered this so this one no uh, no this one is no this one yeah d is the right option we have given according to the answer we got here so uh, as it, now you can understand you know in gate what what type of preparation is required so if you are preparing for gate then i will share you definitely try to link with the things given in the numerical problem or maybe in the formula once you will try to relate it things done you can quite easily solve any numerical problem this is really simple as simple as that okay so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video tutorial bye bye